How are we going to bring them in today, Jake? Um, we're going to bring y'all in. We're going to have a little music episode today. So to start us off. Get back to the roots. Our good old boy, Drake. We got a. Uh, the boy. We're waiting for this new album he's supposed to be dropping. Patiently. Certified lover boy. Six, 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 I'm going to put six, a heart six, in my six. head. <laughs> he won't do it. As soon as I hear he's going to drop. Etch that motherfucker right uh, there. Well, oh, you're going to have to cut the hair down. I know. <laughs> I might have to do that anyways, the way things are going. <laughs> but you know. Damn it, I forgot to take my shit this morning. <laughs> Sorry. the biotin? You got damn right. <laughs> Fuck. I kind of want to take some, but my hair you, already grows so you fast. You don't need no biotin. I just, my, I want it to grow faster. It's not growing fast enough. I feel like it's about to drop and like. I'm thinking. Your in, birthday at, time. Yeah, that's gonna, what I've been. Have anybody that I've talked to, that's what I've, they're like, oh, it's going to be until like the end of summer. I'm like, nah, like you don't understand. My shit grows. So it's like, I'm giving like by the end of April, beginning of May. Yeah, because it's shit, I'm gonna there. Have that, I'm going to have that Shirley Temple look going. It's there. <laughs> it's not dropped. But no, it's yeah. thick as fuck yeah. right now. <laughs> it's going to be fucked to play with this hair. What about you? You ever thought about changing it up? <sighs> what do y'all want me to do, huh? I slap the shit out of you if you do. <laughs> just no, cut it. Just, just start fresh. Do. Just cut it off and start fresh. I can't then. see. I mean, I've cut, cut. cut it short, short as shit, though. I mean, you can have it, like, kind of longer and then blow it out on the side, like your sideburns blow out. Get that shit tapered up or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we'll see. And then we'll just do, not grow it super long, but, you know, keep it, like, kind of like what you have right now. Just kind of like. I mean, I'll let it go to maybe this. Maybe a little shorter. I might, grow it for, I might grow it for another month or so. I usually trim up the sides always. Little did you know we're hairdressers as well. I guess so. Yeah, be on the lookout for the for the hair changes <laughs> and the growth. But uh, yeah, certified lover boy. You guys have any expectations on what it's going to be like or when it's going to drop? We'll start. We'll start when when it's. Gonna I mean, drop. fuck. I thought it. Was, well, it was supposed to drop in January, right? Correct. And okay. then everybody, it wasn't going to drop in January. And then everybody thought, oh well, for, for Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day right. it's going to drop. Well, we're at the end of the last February. day of February now, yeah. and it still hasn't dropped. So I mean. March, <laughs> like March. Tw- I mean, last At this year, point, summertime is la- what I'm thinking. Last year, what the weekend and party next door dropped on March 20th. The album dropped March, mm-hmm. so Heartless and Blinding Lights were the two singles, and they came mm-hmm. out. Okay, so I mean, maybe around that time, if you know, I, I know, no, like right. they like they like, they're like you know, all those subliminal shots and this, that, whatever, and blah, de, blah. So, I mean, within the rap game and shit like that, and especially between the weekend and and Drake, since they're from the the same country, the same town type shit, so there's that rivalry there. But I mean, Toronto. true, but Drake has been bigging the weekend up a lot lately. Yeah, like, yes. Like the last tape he dropped, dark demo tapes on War. At the end of the song, he like bigs up all of XO. For real? Yeah, he says, "Shouts out to my boy." That sound like he sang on Thriller. He's talking about the weekend. Yeah. Sticks and he, he names everybody that's in XO. Basically, yeah, but so. he'll he'll do that and then. Drop the album, He'll boom, do, shots. Exactly. So it's like, you know, people. friendly competition. He likes hyping them up just to put them right back down in their place. I mean, rap music, rap specifically, is, it's a combat sport. Mm-hmm. I mean. You're coming for people's throats. All the constantly. time. Constantly. All the time. It's hard, so, to be, it's hard to be number one. You gotta yeah. step on some people. For sure. But when you're number one, they want to see you fall. So of course, the refuses. pressure of that is there, too. He refuses. We'll see. We shall see. I mean, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go with what you were saying though about when he was dropping. I think probably closer to summer, summertime at this point. I think so. Shit, but that'll be what February, March, April. That'll be four months from when he said he was gonna drop it in January. So either he's, I don't know, maybe he's just trying to get it as good as possible and perfect that shit, or maybe the material isn't there, the inspiration wasn't there. I mean, he was in the Bahamas for a good two months. Doing music oh. in the studio, film video with Meek Mill and Lil Baby. So I think shit is in the process of getting ready. I don't know when it's going to drop. I think COVID, the temperature that we're in right now, is what's holding things back because they can't really tour yeah. the album. They can't yeah. give. The they can't set. give it to us the way that they really want to give it to us. And you know, Drake yeah. is the biggest artist in the world. So what comes with that is a world tour. Course, and right yeah. now, you can't do that. Andy said he was going to drop it actually uh, summer of 2020. Certified Love Boy. And then he pushed it back to like, oh, January 2021. Did he say he was going to drop it or he said he was in album mode? He said he was going to drop it in the summertime? Okay. Well, then he lied to us twice already. So I'm thinking, you know, it'd probably be a whole year after he was supposed to would be this summer because, you know, COVID is still around. But I mean. Maybe he's just scared. Maybe he don't have anything like that. Maybe. I mean, who's I forget who's been bringing it up, but maybe he just doesn't. Charlemagne. Not Charlemagne. It's somebody we know. That. Oh, okay. (laughs) Yeah, that maybe he just. He doesn't have what he wants to put out. Maybe he's maybe he's 
mentally he's blocking himself because he's trying to put out the best work that he can and put out his best album to date, and it's just not that yet. And maybe... I mean, it could be what like we were saying with uh, Ryan the other day. Your biggest critic is usually yourself. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he could have some fucking joints on I there, mean, but... yeah, to us, it's going to be... But, I mean, the way that he's probably thinking, he's thinking in bigger terms of, like, he's trying to be the best ever. So, I mean, when you're trying to do that and you don't feel like you have something that's up to par to maybe even his last album, mm-hmm. you know, then it's like... You you know doubt creeps into the you know to the best of us, right? Never. So I mean that you know there's a, I don't think that's the case, but there's always that possibility because you know he overthought Scorpion too. He admitted that in an interview too on Rap Radar. You know he said he was trying to cater to both sides. He did an A side and the yeah. B side. He tried to give his fans the the singing part and the rapping part. He tried to do a double disc and it it didn't it hit because he's Drake and he mm-hmm. had in my feelings went through the fucking ceiling. Yeah. But to to a classic standard, it, it wasn't that. So. Maybe he just, but maybe that's what the issue is. He's trying to cater too much. Maybe he just needs to drop what he wants to drop, and that'll stick. But back to what you said about him taking it to the next, to the next level. I mean, that's what he's trying to do. Obviously, take it to the next level. But him being where he is, how does he do that? Yeah, how does he's he already the biggest. But that's what, and that's that's where the issue is. Once you, I mean, once you're the the top dog, the, where, how much more can you go? How f- much further can you take it? And I mean, it's kind of really like based on who your competition is at the time. Because when you're number one, depending on who's behind you, is what's going to push you to try and do more. Now, if there's not anybody that behind them that is, you know, considered an all time great, that's really pushing him, or considered, you know, up there with him, that is going to push him to get to that next level then what is his motivation then what's gonna who, get him who is behind him on a rap level nobody that's dropped recently i mean you could say like a guy like like kendrick lamar but he hasn't dropped in years yeah i mean true. the people that you would consider at his level haven't dropped in a while kendrick cole j cole may i mean you can because they came up but i don't really think he i don't to think, the masses though yeah they, they grouped those three guys yeah together. yeah but okay so then if it's those three guys like i mean I don't think J. Cole is motivating uh, Drake to put out something that's otherworldly. I think if it is somebody, it would be Kendrick, and Kendrick hasn't dropped in, what, three, four years now? Four years? So, Black Panther was four years ago? Three years ago. I mean, he that's basically his whole album. Yeah. But, but I mean, his solo album was four years ago, mm, damn. So, so yeah, it's like, true. you know, and then who else is after? I mean, it's a lot of new guys, like Lil Baby, guys Lil like Baby that. But, probably... like, but, I mean, he's so early into his career that – you yeah, know, Drake's baby, not really fucking baby. worried about him. No. I mean, he he helped put them on kind of with, you know, him and Gunn on that uh, drip, uh, not drip too hard. Uh, was it drip too hard too? Well, the, Never Recovers, ne- the song yeah, that you're yeah. talking about. But most specifically, he put Baby on with uh, Yes Indeed. Yeah, there you go. Yes Indeed. So it's, it's like, it's, I mean, a lot of these guys that are coming up now, he's helped put on. So it's like, and they're nowhere near what drake has done in his career so no. they're not he's not really worried about that so i mean maybe the the fire under his ass isn't there maybe he's just complacent right now and just kind of like well the only person i think that he realistically worries about is jay-z and but, jay-z doesn't put out music like yeah that anymore. So I mean, and but I, as soon as he drops it's the world is on 10 for jay-z but i mean and the last song jay-z put out his first two bars he's talking about drake that is true Scorpion, he did take, Scorpion he did bricks, take shots. way before Aubrey's double disc. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's feeling the pressure, man. Maybe the first for, time forty on my lap clap sound like forty did the mix. Maybe the first time in his career he's feeling the pressure for real, and it's getting to him. Nah, ah, not, he's so great at what at he does, stage. though. I don't think I, I don't think he drops and flops. I don't think that's. Possible. I don't think it's gonna flop, but I. But it could just. I think he's teetering a little there. bit. I think he's got some nerves a little bit. I think he's a little worried about what it is that he's going to put out. And I feel like he's not – he's worried that it might not – maybe it lives up to our standards, but it's not going to live up to his standards to what he wants his leg, his overall legacy to be. But he's had a moment with every album. Mm-hmm. There's at least I, one I mean, song that there's a moment. In for My sure. Feelings, what's the album before that? Before Scorpion is um, More Life. Mm-hmm. What's the big single off More Life? More Life kind of. There's a couple. I mean, that got big off of it. Yeah, you got. Um, I mean, Scorpion had. Fake Love was the big song off yeah, of that. Was the single off that's of that. The, that's the big moment. Um, Fire and Desire got big. That was on I'm views. trying to think of uh, God's Plan. God's Plan. But that's all Scorpion. Yeah. But the way he rolled it out, you know what I'm saying? It was like a six to eight month rollout. So mm-hmm. 
he lived off of God's plan for a long time. And then In My Feelings was the next big single. There was one before that. Uh, um, damn, how did I forget the name of this song? Get it, I don't know, man. It just seems he like he had three number ones in a row, though. I feel like that was his last big moment. It just seems like, I mean, the and it's like little things too. Like this is probably nothing, but that shit that he did, like with the fucking fake hair, that Justin Bieber haircut shit, and like doing just like that just was little. Hilarious. It's funny, but like little things like that. It just I don't know. It just what do you mean fake haircut? That you know how he had that. The blonde the, wig. The thing. blonde wig that he had that Justin Bieber cut, and he uh-huh. put it on Instagram and shit. Like I missed that. Did I you? I don't remember seeing that. What? What? Yeah, I, maybe I forgot, but I don't remember seeing oh, that. Oh, we got to pull this up real yeah. quick. Just wow. to show you. That was pretty funny stuff right there. Wow. I mean, I guess his last moment was with Khaled then, with the pop star. And pop star was a cool song. Bieber made it bigger. Okay, I did see that. Oh, he see. did that himself specifically? I thought somebody just memed him. No, nah, he put that. Like, weird things like that. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, it's like, all right. Like, I get it. It's funny. But, like, it's kind of, it just seems a little, like, he's been a little bit more... He's a people pleaser, though, and I think he's trying to feed into that internet well, generation and, and a little bit. And that's exactly what I was going to say. It seems like he's kind of going, because he's not really the one to go on the internet and fucking do shit like that. And, like, he's on Instagram and shit, but, like, as of the past couple of years, I, I mean, we are, I'm, sure, I'm sure you follow him on Instagram, too, but, like, you could kind of, he's been a little bit more active on there, mm-hmm. been a little bit more posting the stories, posting shit like that. And, and that's like, where the kids are. And it's like, you know, maybe that's a little out of his element. It just kind of, like, it feels like he's reaching just a little bit. 2C Slide. Just a little bit. 2C Slide was that. I mean, that was his last yeah, moment, that, but it, I was, say it that. was a TikTok moment. Yeah. And he tried to capitalize on that. That that was the, I mean, TikTok is still big, but that was like when it was really, yeah. really starting to become yeah. big time conversation. When it started catching traction. And exactly. shit. But I mean, re- I mean, trying to, you know, reach a certain demographic, which I mean, he can do that. He's Drake. You know, you're supposed to do that as an artist. And when you, you know, when you have a brand like that, you want to reach to as many people as you can. But again, it just, it, it seems a little out of character for him to start reaching and starting to people please more in the sense of going on social media and you know doing the extra shit like the little fucking Justin Bieber cut and you know things like that when he's the artist that he is exactly. as big as he is exactly. you, you feel like he wouldn't he doesn't need to do any of that exactly. any of those antics exactly the perfect ex- perfect example of somebody who doesn't is Kendrick and Cole mm-hmm. the, both those guys I mean it's just music and there's no antics there's no social media there's Nothing. no there's like I have a character too yeah. it's just music so I mean but Drake is a big time celebrity too, so he like has to play that role as Maybe, well. Maybe I mean, like, and this is just me speculating and just kind of you know conversation, but maybe he's step kind of stepping into that that realm of like, you know, he's kind of losing himself as a person. You know how when you get these mega big stars and these artists that are just bigger than life, and they just mm-hmm. get starting, get they start getting lost in a persona, persona, and like, you know, just. Kind of, I don't know, like not in the Michael Jackson because he was a little he hit the his weird shit was weird, right? But like maybe he's kind of stepping off into that kind of you know, into that direction of now what? What's next for me? What am I trying? Like what am I gonna do now? What, like he's try- it seems like he's trying to hold on to something or make something happen out of nothing. And again, this is all just me kind of speculating right. just based off what we're seeing, but you know. This is the first time that and you've said it in recent interviews that you know he he felt pressure with Scorpion. Mm-hmm. You know it seems you know he it seems like he's kind of been reaching a little bit. Yeah, but coming off of what he came off in well, the midst of Scorpion, yeah, so too I mean, much pressure. That's, yeah. the, that's the that's the biggest chink in his armor that we had ever seen. Like the internet was trolling Drake. That's that's kind of rare. Like it happened. I feel like when he dropped. Um, Started from the bottom. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's the last time that he was really getting memed real bad. Yeah. After that, nobody really fucked with him. He was the man. Everybody. I mean, was hotline bling. Flowers. Hotline, hotline bling. But that was bit. like good. I mean, it was, was good. Yeah. Yeah. It, was it was. It was good memes. Like yeah. funny memes in his favor. Yeah. The like, scorpion yeah, they shit. Put up the, something you don't like. Like the, his face is the shit. The him hiding a child <laughs> like shit. That, that was a bad moment for him. So yeah. he had the pressure to come, with especially a with great album with how he talks about his dad and shit and all his and yeah. all his music. And mm-hmm. now he's like, he became, uh, now look at you're the deadbeat dad now. Like, and then it's kind of like, uh, but it was easy to paint that narrative because nobody knew mm-hmm. what was going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, is it true? I don't think so. Did he do a good job of cleaning it up? Yes, for sure. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. But he had to scrap that whole album. He redid Scorpion. Majority of Scorpion, he redid. Some of the singing songs, I'm sure, were there. But as far as the rap joints, where he had to take the shots that he had to take, 
it seemed it seemed rushed and it seemed like he was trying to cater to a certain sound because of what push did to him see but like man i don't really feel like he was like rapping that well on not that it was bad but like to what his standards were it didn't really like I, and again like i the first time i listened to scorpion i had to i had to sit with it and like go back and listen to it and like before remember, it really yeah, stuck we with talked me about it because i was when it came out i was this was a, to yeah though. this is the first time i was gonna go see my dad in jacksonville and mm-hmm. i played it and i'm just like man like what it's just this? not sticking like yeah, that. Like, I was listening to it, and I'm just, like, halfway through some of these songs, I just wanted to skip through it. I'm like, this is just not sitting. And then eventually over time, like, I would listen to it, or I'd put my phone on shuffle, mm-hmm. and things would come up, and we're like, oh, shit, what is this? Oh, it's on Scorpion? And, what? and like, it kind of grew on me, but, like, the initial, you know, that it was there, I was just like... Yeah, eh, the initial, I, could, the I, I think I could pass on this right yeah, now. I mean, I liked it off rip, but what I was going to say is the only per- people that Drake continuously has to prove himself to is rap rap enthusiast because of that ghostwriting thing like he constantly tries to prove himself as one of the greatest rappers of all time but you would think at this point he's already like blended the two so much together you would think he would just kind of be like i don't need to prove shit at this point but that's the only thing that they pick at him about is the rap shit yeah but i mean because they can't fuck with him on a singing shit because he started no they kind of not started songs they can't fuck with him on that but like bars which he does have they they try and pick him apart because of the ghostwriting shit so i feel like he's always trying to prove himself in that element yeah but i mean if you look at like i feel like if you look at any great you know artist athlete like there's always going to be that one thing that they nitpick like that people uh critics you know media people are going to pick at but i feel like once you get to a certain point of stardom and you're that big like if it's that one thing that they continue to pick at like how much should it like how much should it really bother you like how long has he been hearing the ghostwriting shit? If it still bothers him, I feel like that's kind of a little worrisome for the long run. Because again, like he's done so much. Like not I'm not taking anything like any of us here fucking right. love Drake. He's put out music like we mm-hmm. can relate to all this shit. Like it's great. Like he is and just for just for argument like for our generation, he is probably the greatest artist. Correct. At that point it's like why is it that if you've been hearing these ghostwriting rumors for so long and people trying to poke at you for it and whatever, and you know, just the way that the rap game is now that a lot of people do ghostwrite for each other yeah, and shit like that. Anymore. So I would, it just kind of, it, it, yeah, it's just, it, it, it's weird that somebody of his stature and his greatness would still set, let something that little, I get, I don't know, drive him or bother him to the point where it's like, it seems like he's kind of, you know, well, he wants that respect from the elder statesmen that he doesn't really get. Like some of them give it to him, but but majority of like the rap gods mm-hmm. in the culture don't respect his pen on a rap note, and I think that bothers him. So I think he 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 feeds into that a little bit. But yeah, I mean, you but, can't deny his music. You can't deny the hits. You know what I'm saying? He uh, is Drake. He is one of the greatest of all time. But I think that that one thing still bothers him, and I think he will forever maybe, try and maybe him solidify that he is a great maybe rapper. I mean. I was thinking about this the other day, like him being dubbed the chosen one and like being like taking rap to the next level when mm-hmm. he first came. And I mean, he's done all that. Right. I mean, he he's I mean, and that's the thing. He's done all that, but it's still like not he, enough for people. He like and I think that's for what, what bothers him. But for what people, though, the I rap mean, enthusiasts. the rap people. Exa- but like, again, I, I like at a point, it's like he's bigger than rap. He's correct. He is bigger than that. He has surpassed that. I, like I get wanting to get the respect from where you, you know, started and where right. you got your roots from, but mm-hmm. like, I just feel like at a certain point, it's you know, it's not you know, what more do you have to prove? Like he's, he, we could go back and fucking from his early work. From I was on my laptop the other day, just going through music, cleaning shit out, and I forgot how many just when for Drake first started, like oh seven, oh eight, just shit, just that I found on LimeWire and shit that he's just. Spitting, and you could tell that it's just him going in the booth yeah. and just spitting bars, and it's like, man, like, I, like, what more do you have to prove in that, in that, element. that you know, environment? Like, right. you've done it. There's always going to be, especially when you're the number one guy. You're, there's always going to be somebody taking a shot, right? 
again, I understand, you know, when it's your role models that aren't accepting you and, you know, you're kind of, you, you want their approval and you're not getting it. Right. I can get how that, you know, Eat that's going to, exactly. But again, once you get to the point where you're bigger than a certain genre of music, I feel like, you know, you just kind of have to take it on the chin and take it for what it is and fuck it. I'm going to go drop this song and I'm going to go make fucking however millions of dollars real quick and right. move on with my life and boom. But you know, different shit drives different people, and I don't. I mean, who knows? That shit is. It's it's weird that he's so great, yet you know, even the greatest. And, and I mean, that even the greatest people have those human elements. Like even he could, you know, everybody praises Drake. He has a Drake effect. He does mm-hmm. this, that, whatever. Right. But then you see shit like this, and it's like, well, I mean, he's still just he's still just a guy. Like right. he's still just somebody trying to make music, trying to please people, trying to yeah. prove something. He right. wants to be. He wants to be. Rank, I feel like maybe. With the rapping, at least, he's trying to be better than Hove. He doesn't want that knock. Like, you know his song where he's like, top two and I'm not two? Mm-hmm. For instance, he wants to be the number one guy, but he feels like if he doesn't put out something he, he, that, he is, won't ever, that is then what he needs to do then, the best. What he, he needs to do then guy. is just fuck all that singing shit then. <laughs> get in the fucking booth and just fucking spit the whole fucking time. Just put out a song, an album yeah, of fucking song. 15 songs of him just fucking rapping his ass off. Mm-hmm. Going off of your And points. then just fucking drop it and then boom. Like I, I, I feel like that shuts you. a lot of shit down. But that he tries to fucking cater to everybody. Cater to everybody is what kind of fucks him a little bit. What right? kind of album do you think we're going to get with Certified Love Boy? Probably a little bit more of what Scorpion was. That's where he's at now. He has to, he's at the point where he's going to have a mix. Not not only I don't feel like he's at the point. I feel like he feels like he's at the point that he has to cater to his whole fan base. I feel like as an artist, yes, you have to obviously like you have to cater to your fans. You have you have to put out shit that they like. But at a certain point when you're that big, I feel like you can put out an album for yourself and do something that you want to do because you want to do it. Like if Drake were to do that, how much is that really going to hurt his stardom or his fan base or anything like that? Like his real fans are going to be like, oh, fuck, this is what we've been waiting for. Like we want him to fucking get on this shit and fucking spit fucking 16 bars fucking four five six seven songs in a row and i don't want to hear that singing shit sometimes yeah he hasn't put out his yeezus yet Mm-mm. quote unquote like you know that was a sound that yay just wanted to do he didn't give a fuck what people thought he mm-hmm. just put it out because it appeased him you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying like, he hasn't done i that feel like yet. that shit that that shit kind of keeps you sane as an artist true especially at that level like you got to please yourself at some point but mm-hmm. he is at a point where he has to give us a controller he has to give us uh 5 a.m in toronto and he has to give us uh, in my feelings like three those three sounds have to be on his album now and if it's not then he's not gonna put it out and i think that's what holds him holds him back but with an album name like certified lover boy what are you expecting i'm expecting lovey dovey fucking right. heartbreak, to, i feel fucking... like he's catering to the women he's catering to his early shit like but who would care. that let down I would let me down a little <laughs> bit, like because I I want both. So I'm yeah. I'm more of the rap fan than the singing fan. Yeah. I, I don't know. That's hard to say because I, I like it's, I, it's I so like many it'll, records. It'll that be I like more like Drake. a take care type of feel to it. That's hard to duplicate. It's oh, I'm not saying he's gonna duplicate it, but I'm just saying I feel like that's the type of album or type of sound certified. At least the title, Certified Lover Boy. I feel like that's gonna be playing sounds like he's gonna be fucking i mean maybe yeah w shit like maybe if he'll he, be rapping if about he just if, all if he raps he's, through, he's it's gonna we'll be see. like it's not gonna be anything spectacular it's gonna be like you know just some decent bars like you know some witty lines here and there oh, talking mm-hmm. about you know whatever late night stand like like some uh not around type mm-hmm. type of rapping and shit right. like that but it's not gonna be anything that he's just fucking going in the booth and just like just put on a fucking beat and let me fucking that murder not this around, shit. That, that not around is tough. Like that, it is. that type of sound, pistols. That type it of sound is, is, is it tough. is. But it's, it's more of that. a it's more of a singy rap. Like he's he's the the content is of rap, but the way that he presents presents right. it is of R and B and like, like singy, exactly. Like flow. I'm gonna fucking the, the melody. I'm gonna you're not like what I'm saying is like okay like not around. There is a stripper. She's trying to get out of life. I'm pretty much helping her out. Right. Whatever. Like, mm-hmm. but when you when you hear the song, you don't hear that. It's like, yeah. oh shit. Like, Dance to it. Hey, what the <laughs> fuck? This is what, yeah, so it's like you don't right. really so it's like, you know, at a certain point, like I said, if he wants to appease, you know, and appease be and be the fucking be that rapper guy, just fuck you know, fuck it. Take a chance. Put out a fucking rap album. Right. And just do that. I mean, what was the last one he put I mean if you're reading this, it's too late. Was and that's why it hurt so so bad with that album because that was supposed to be the quote-unquote rap mixtape. And then 
you know, the allegations came out that it was it was ghostwriting behind all of that. So his rap pen is questionable because of that. So, I mean, you bring up a good point. If he wants to knock that conversation out of the park and he needs to put out a rap album, 15 songs, straight bars of just him. Don't mm-hmm. think Certified Lover Boy will be the one. Nope. No. A title no. like based, that. Based off the title. Yeah, you're going. I'm, I feel like he's going for more of his female demographic, his, you Everybody. know. He's yeah, nothing without the that, women. He's exactly. nothing without. I mean, he he's something without the women. Let me let me change. How I say we, that, but I've, he is not as big as he is without the women. Without I've, that side, I've said this plenty of times. You get the women, men will follow. Correct. And <laughs> anything, like Facts. anything, like if a female <laughs> likes something, yeah, there's gonna be dudes that are gonna like it. Niggas just jumping off the, on the wave. Correct. Just off the pure fact, there's so many females around. Women. Right. Ah, yeah. This is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So I feel you like your girl, you're not playing Meek Mill. You're probably playing Drake. He's, he's in the rotation somewhere. Yeah, like, you I know mean, you'd I mean? have probably been in your rotation regardless, but you with your chick, you're definitely playing Drake. 100%. I don't know. I, w- this will be Drake's first independent Do you album. think... he? D- so we just got a text saying, I feel like he's hyping this album beyond expectations. Example, views. Yep, that, that's a good point. I thought about I don't know. that, too. I fucking love views. That's the thing. Like, views is I'm one of, big, like... I'm not a big views fan of views. Probably, it's probably, like, nothing was the same, and then views and... Take care. Take care. Probably second. Like it's kind of back and forth. But like I really liked views. I you really views above take care. I really liked views. And maybe it was just again. Maybe it was just the time that I, that it came out. I was in Pennsylvania. My dad had just moved back down here, so I was mm. in Pennsylvania for those three months by myself. I was in the townhouse. Like I was work doing. Like I was doing my thing out there. So maybe just like. And you know the people that I was involved with and shit like that. But like maybe just that whole like just the 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 moment that it was for sure. me you bring up a good point though because that sound was curated for that type of element mm-hmm. that gloominess it was made for toronto yeah. which is gloomy snowy dark all the time at that point so, i lived in washington and the environment you're in is yeah. similar so it kind of fits so maybe that's what like i that's just hold cool. it like sentimental i just hold it to a higher standard but like right. i i mean i liked it a lot but i i understand i'm in the minority in that one yeah yeah i mean i like that album, but i, I don't rank it that high I, I, I'm with you on nothing was the same though. Yeah, to but me it, that's his best album. Yeah, but I mean, you think about the time period that that yeah. dropped for us. I yeah. mean, that, that was a special time. Senior year, our last year of football, like yeah. it just hit differently at that point. Yeah, that that's an album that it gives me nostalgia like no other. Like I listen to Wu Tang forever, and I feel like I'm in fucking 2014 in the white cobalt on the way to fucking <laughs> the practice. Fucking cobalt. You know what I'm saying? So oh, it's, a, it's a different feeling. Like I can smell shit differently yeah. when I hear that song. Yeah, you know what I mean? But I mean, that's the thing about Drake albums, though. Even with even with Scorpion, I have found like even though I like it grew on me later, I found like moments with it that you know, if I listen to certain songs, it's gonna take me back to a certain time certain and a time. certain you know people that I was hanging out with, things that I was doing and shit like that. Yeah. And you know, it, it, that's the and that's I feel like to me that's what makes Drake shit so great is that like the timing, the, the how relatable fuck, it can exactly, be. exactly like blue tint for me. Specifically on that album, look who I'm fucking again. I had on ice, but then <laughs> that, that happens a lot of times yeah. with people. Like you know, you might have a girl that you was messing with for a while, shit went sour, and then you put her on ice. Back and on it, she comes back, and it's like, look who I'm with again. Yeah. My old flex is my my new flex is my old flex. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. just timing, relatability. That's what he's the greatest at, a hundred percent. But as far as dropping, do you think he's gonna do like the Beyonce thing and just drop? Nobody knows about it. No rollout. Well, he's kind of already done a rollout, so I guess. I mean, he's been posting pictures and like he, he he on Instagram the other day he posted a picture of the three mics. So like he's been, I mean, he's been hyping it up. Like yep. he posted maybe, like an owl one yeah, time. Yeah, not eyes. like it's kind of subtle hype, but like any anything that he posts that's you know gonna be music related on his Instagram or anything like that, people are gonna look into it. Or, yeah. And comments, all these all these Instagram pages are gonna pick up on mm-hmm. it and like look at what you know. What do you think it means? You know, is it coming soon? Blah de blah and all that shit. Just to right. you know, just to you know drive up numbers and shit like that but you know again he'd say he was jacob said he was gonna drop last year didn't drop he said he was gonna drop in january didn't drop yeah everybody thought all right well february certified lover boy kind of makes sense yeah i was I, didn't drop this i month. had said valentine's day yeah mm-hmm. well, you can go back and a lot of people speculate on that, that. i had said valentine's day because i was like certified lover boy it that's makes a perfect sense, fucking sense. time yeah. And, but, and social media was going crazy with that. Everybody was speculating that for a minute. But, you so. know, he wants to hold it. So maybe it's to your point. He just does, hasn't found that specific thing that he wants on it. So he's waiting. Maybe it's going to be what he's good at. It's fucking taking over the whole summer. He could wait till summer, make it a whole. Like, you know how 
what what did you put out that was like the out the summer album basically or the summer fucking anthem summer 16 that tour because that was viewed oh you're talking it? about the song with Khaled nah I'm, just, I'm talking about just I don't Coming know what the song was called I can't, I can't think free of it free was a like, summertime anthem yeah it was okay maybe it was uh, that I jump man on and I mean, on there's just a lot of shit it's just like the time how I last so long I yeah. must have had a superpower left 200 you've had the summer on lock for a long time is, though Summer is Drake the season. CC. Hmm? Summertime is usually Drake season. And I'm off the Hennessy. 100%. 100%. Like comp to say, you know this dick ain't free. Ain't. But, um, that was the shit. <laughs> that was also when I was in Pennsylvania, too. Fuck. I think he's trying to have everything together before he drops. I think he's already filming videos. He's you been know, in like he says, Maybe he's feeling that pressure from the weekend. He likes his chips with the dip. Yeah, I mean, it, it's he's feeling it's, the pressure from so, he's feeling the pressure from somewhere. Maybe it's from a lot of places, but now I don't, that the, I don't weekend, think it's from the weekend, well, I mean, they've been listen. One of his best albums has a lot of weekend influence in it. Take care, correct. And I was thinking about this the other day. If you match up album to album from the weekends to Drake, I mean, it's kind of you can kind of go either way. For me, so thank me later versus the trilogy. Which one do you think is better? That's not fair. I think trilogy is better. All right. I think you put Trilogy against Take So care. Far Gone. Take Care. So Far Gone. And yeah. So and Far Gone. And that makes it tough. Mm, so then. Now you put Thank Me Later against Kiss Land. All right. And you, thank and me you later. tell me that. Thank Me Later. And then. You pick Kiss Land? I, again, I haven't gone back to Kiss Land. I've, I haven't gone back to Kiss Land. Even if you do, I don't think it's better than Thank Me Later. Uh, I think it's a good album. I mean, to the masses, it's, it's, it's his worst album. But. If if we're from face value, I mean, you're gonna say thank me later. All right. What's his next album? So what? Beauty behind the madness. Beauty behind the madness versus take care. <sighs> Hard. I'll probably take take care. I'm taking take care. Starboy versus nothing was the same. Nothing, nothing was. was the same. All right. Well, when you, when you put it like that, he, <laughs> yeah. when he's so far gone. I I mean, I wasn't really. They're both on it. the same level. Yeah. Now, now that you now that you both mixtapes that it, got yeah. them noticed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Both raw material that they cleaned up and made into like an album. Mm-hmm. That's what he did with trilogy. That's what yeah. he did with so far gone. All right. Well, fuck what I just said. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can you can argue it. In, <laughs> you, you can argue it in I a sense. You down real quick, but though. like I said, the take I'll care the take care album, which you know universally is looked at as Drake's best album. The Correct. weekend had a huge influence huge. on that and did mm-hmm. a lot of work on it. Correct. And now, Kiss Land could have been a better album too if Drake didn't blackball him after that. I feel like. There you go. I mean, so I mean and w- I mean After Hours, Scorpion, is that what we're Yeah. I mean right now yeah. b- right now in this moment the weekend is on a fucking high right now that Correct. and he is up there like you can mm-hmm. right now as as far as top artists you cannot leave him out